Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Texas Fly Fishing Report. This is the companion YouTube channel to www.texasflycaster.com where you can go to find highly detailed information about fly fishing in Texas. Hi guys and welcome to the Texas Fly Fishing Report. My name is Shannon and this is the report coming out on May 4th, 2018. If you don't know, this YouTube channel and these videos are a supplement to my website www.texasflycaster.com. I've had a few days to kind of look over uh, stored recordings of some shows and things and as you have you been watching as you know I glean my information from actually fly fishing in my area but other people and other other reports that come out on places like Texas Insider Fishing Report for example. Um, and as you can see we've changed our venue a little bit the rain kicked in uh, yesterday I managed to get out as you'll see in the footage that or as you might have seen I haven't decided where to put the footage yet in this video but somewhere in here is a video of me catching my first carp of this season on Lake Ray Roberts Texas and for those of you who tune in specifically for information about Lake Ray Roberts I appreciate you tuning in as you know and I know if you've been on Ray Roberts, it's a unique habitat that is very special because of the way you can fly fish for carp there and sight cast. And for me, I use a skiff and guide off a skiff for carp on Lake Ray Roberts, Texas. I probably don't do a good enough job of promoting that one particular water body, but it is pretty fantastic. It is the only place in Texas that I've ever heard of or anybody's ever shown that you can do what you can do with a fly rod and that is if you're not if you're not on a skiff you can walk in and, and walk for several miles and wade in water that is at most knee deep and fish for gar carp and bass and whatever else you might find we've got drum now and we've got buffalo too that come up into this water that's under three feet deep so then you can see them even if you're walking and waiting of course you can do much better if you're on a skiff but to say uh, that's the only thing going on would be a mistake uh, I, I did learn from watching these other shows that I record and watch later uh, that everybody else is as frustrated with the weather in Texas as I am and that's no big surprise it's been really tough and we are glad to get these breaks like we had between yesterday and today this looks just like it did yesterday and it cleared off about one o'clock and that's when I went out I just ran out there and walked the flask it was still way too windy to uh, take out the skiff but uh, that footage is from yesterday hot off the press for those of you who pay for my private channel subscription it's thirty dollars a year and on that will be a supplement to this video talking about specifics on Ray Roberts and the fly that worked it's a I'll tell you right off it's a woolly booger and it's it's about a size 10 with a with a gold bead head and very glittery and it was very tough to arrive at that fly to catch carp yesterday because uh, it was probably the fifth or sixth fly I tried and it's usually not that hard the behavior patterns on Ray Roberts uh, right now are pre-spawn eat which means that the fish are there in great numbers but they are uh, only interested in one thing it's a three letter word called three letter word call I can't hardly say it it's too embarrassing S-E-X anyway that's what they're into right now so they're not into eating as much you know how it was when you were young right same kind of deal uh, eventually they'll get around to uh, to the things they need to survive and that's when we step in and, and start to hook a few of these guys more consistently. Please go to my website too while we're on the topic of me, which I hate being on, but we are. Uh, and check out a new page I just put up on the website. It's about Pilot Point, Texas being a destination. It's right near Lake Ray Roberts, Texas, and it's a great place to go. You can spend a week in there now, and it's not just you know wild west podunk usa it's really there's things to do there's a distillery a brewery and all kinds of other things so if you wanted to go there dump the family and uh go out with me on a day trip maybe even two days while they're out exploring it's entirely doable it's a great place to go and especially if you don't want to go far or spend a lot of money 
So keep that in mind, Pilot Point, Texas, and look for that link on my website under Travel Fly Fishing, I think is, is the name of the drop down or something like that. But anyway, take a look at that. So across the across the state right now, we're just dealing with weather, and this is a it's kind of an extraordinary pattern because it's extraordinarily normal, and we're not used to normal after so many years of abnormal. Uh, but that's what's happening. They're getting the fronts that reach the coast. Uh, all they do is stir things up, winds and maybe some rains, and then they're gone in a day. So they get bluebird after a day or two, and they're on again. But then another one comes. So these things have been coming so regularly now that they're having trouble on the coast with getting some consistency from what I'm seeing. At the end of this is also the scroll and as you know I'm going I'm just going to go quick today is the scroll and on the scroll that comes from TPWD and it, I cover I just copy and paste that in at the end like so it scrolls and it tells you about the water bodies that might be near you in Texas. And the reason for that is, even though it's conventional fishing information, it's very easy to translate the kind of crazy things that conventional guys use into things that we can imitate with fly. And that's what we do successfully most times, or even more successfully sometimes because the fish don't see these things we throw nearly as much. I know I'm probably forgetting something, but it's probably on the website. So go to www.texasflycaster.com. Check out the post that, that this uh, video is embedded in. And be sure to subscribe to Instagram for really hot information. And of course, the Twitter channel. Those are tied together. If you are a Facebooker, I, yeah, I can't help you. But I do also um, put my, uh, uh, push my information out to Facebook on the facebook.com slash Texas Flycaster page. It's, uh, it's a necessary evil and of course uh, you can have that translated in, into Russian if you need to. <clears throat> I want you guys to have a great weekend. My voice is really rough today. Have a great weekend and we will talk to you next week. We're going to start having our own videos that kind of interlace in here. Remember, I would love to take your photos that you send in to me of fly fishing anywhere you are in Texas, any in surrounding states, whatever. If you're from Texas and you're out of the country, send me a picture and uh, I'd love to run it on the reports. I'll run that between, right now, I'm running those between the, uh, the scroll and the end of the video that you're seeing right now. So just keep that in mind. Go ahead and follow through to the end. Maybe you'll see somebody you know. Thanks for watching. Happy Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. And as always, tune in to TexasFlyCaster.com for the written word. <laughs>